All right, welcome back, Odoers. Jose Ignacio here. Now that we know the fundamentals of email marketing application, it's time to create a killer campaign to send out to my customers. With well-prepared, properly scheduled email campaigns, your company can expand its reach into new innovative ways. Now, email campaigns are great for building and nurturing relationships with customers, also leads, and even more so with prospects. Also, with email campaigns, we can actually encourage you know, curious customers to participate in upcoming promotions or even follow your business on social media. And that is precisely what we here at Stealthywood are about to do with the Odoo email marketing application. So without further ado, let's jump into our database and see just how easy it is to set up, test, and send email campaigns in a matter of moments with Odoo. All right, Odooers, let's kick things off by creating a campaign to raise awareness for our social media outlets. So the very first thing that we actually want to do is go ahead and head into email marketing. And then what are we going to do? We're actually going to kick campaigns up here. And then we need to select create because that is what we're going to do here. And every campaign is going to need a name. So ours is going to be social media. Responsible. It's going to be Mitchell Admin, very classic one. Now, you'll also notice there's an option here for adding tags. Now, when it comes to adding tags, you can do that right here on the campaign dashboard or on the template form itself if you want to. For now, let's just add a few quick tags and then we'll jump into the template by clicking at it right after. So in our case, we want social media. And what else do we want here? Well, this is marketing, just so that people know. And now once we're done, like I said, we'll hit into edits. All right, now on the campaign template form, you'll see a number of smart buttons at the very top that we have both up here and then other buttons up here that do other things. Now these will populate as the campaign progresses. You'll have revenues increase, hopefully. You'll also have quotations increase, hopefully, and opportunities as well as clicks, all hopefully. Now you'll also notice some of the other buttons in the top left that I was talking about. Now there we have options to send the mailing directly. We could send it as an SMS. We can add a social media post and we can also do push notifications. Now in our case, let's select send mailing. Now, once we do that, you'll notice it takes us somewhere else. You can create a custom stylized message to send to your recipients here. And that's actually what we're going to do now. Now, which one do we want to use for this? In our case, just use this welcome message that I have been using a lot recently. Now, before we title the subject line, you'll also notice at the very far end of it, we have both a little star here for adding to templates. And we also have a little smiley face. Now this space represents the ability to include emojis in your message. Sometimes they could catch people, you know, very quickly, especially if you see something that says, you know, like, oh my God, there's a sale and it's a very big haze. Now, if you're looking to add some of those to your mailings, just look for this little icon and then you can just add it in. I prefer the sunglasses to let people know that we are very cool. So ours is going to say, follow us on Twitter. We're not going to capitalize that. We're not monsters. And then we're going to end with another smiley face. In this case, a shocked face. There we go. Beautiful. Now, as you'll also notice in the recipients field, we have the option to select a mailing list. You have a drop down here that also allows you to select any specific one that you want. It should be noted that you can use the same mailing list for email and SMS campaigns because a mailing list is a list of contacts that will have both an email address and phone number saved in that database. So those that have one and not the other will only receive one and not the other. Now in our case, we're going to select our mailing list and we actually want the, I don't see it on the list, so we're going to erase this real quick. We want the newsletter one. Oh, whoops. Actually, sorry about that. We actually, my apologies. We want mailing list here and over here we want newsletter. Small little little doopsie. These happen when I'm thinking about recipients versus mailing list. Don't make the same mistake that I did here. Now, once that we're all done with this, we actually want to change the title of some of these. So in our case, thank you for joining us is going to be changed to please, please follow us on Twitter. And then once that we have that set up, it's just a quick little message here. And right below it, we want to add in our logo. So in our case, how do we do that, Odoers? Well, as you remember, we can add a little picture here. We can add a little stuff, everything that we want. In our case, we're going to do a left-aligned logo over here. 
And then when we select this, we can actually edit this directly by hitting this. And you'll notice we can replace it with media by selecting right there. And I already have this all set up. It is enormous. So we're actually going to move that a little bit up. Um, I guess we should probably leave it huge just so they know this is stealthy wood. All right. Everything looks pretty good in this case. Now, what else would we want this to do? Well, in any case, we actually need a link directly to ours. So in our case, we're actually going to select this here. And then we actually want to edit the link for it. And over here for our URL, we want to put our stealthy wood Twitter that we have over here. And then once that that's ready to go, we're actually going to let them know by clicking the logo. Pretty simple. You can change it up however you want in this case. It's pretty much up to you, but make sure that you have a link. I've shown you a quick little thing right here for how to actually customize some of these blocks and everything. But if you want any further help with that, please check out some of my other colleagues' videos on the Odoo website builder. They're pretty great. I also want to make a note that when you add a link to the mailing, Odoo tracks it for you automatically. You don't have to do anything and tell me. That's pretty awesome. So now that we're done with all this here, everything looks good. We've got our enormous logo and some other information that is irrelevant. We can get rid of that. Anyways, let's test this out to see how everything works. So in our case, we're going to select test up here. And you'll see it's going to ask us to send this to any recipient. Now in our case, we're going to select me. And we're just going to type in my email real quick. You could use any pretty much to test here, but obviously you want it to be a real one so that you could see. So in our case, we're going to hit send. Give that a second. Now, the test button is different from A-B tests because we can choose who to send the mailing to instead of sending it to a percentage of our recipients that are chosen at random. So let's actually see what this looks like to our customer. So if we jump over here, you'll notice immediately, there it is. And if I click onto this photo, everything works directly. And now we're back over here onto the Stealthy Wood Twitter. And isn't that beautiful? So let's head back over. Now, you'll notice that everything worked properly as it should. And that was a very quick, albeit muddled demo of how to add a button onto a picture as well. Uh, but either way, it was super easy for our curious customers to follow our account for the latest updated and news about our products and services. And that's the usefulness that I find here. Now, once that we're back over here, what you'll notice via the breadcrumbs, if we go back to social media, we can actually see we had one mailing go out. And that's pretty useful. It pretty much tells you exactly what's happening. You'll see that these things have changed. There's no revenue because I haven't bought anything. There's no quotations or anything else yet. But... At least we know that it worked. Now, if you ever want to duplicate a mailing uh, campaign, by the way, either to reuse or to customize further, you actually only have to go up here to Actions and select Duplicate. And that's it. Odoo will instantly take you to the duplicated template so you can continue working on it right away. And that, my friends, is very useful. Now, if you ever want to take a closer look at your mailing list or create new ones on the fly, all you actually have to do is select over here onto Mailing List and either mailing list contacts or mailing lists up here. And it'll take you right directly to them. And you can even see the contacts as well. And I find all of these things very useful so that I can make sure that the pertinent information related to my mailing list and for other people is very easy to see. And just in case you'd like to dive deeper into your specific mailing list contacts, once that you're inside of this list, you'll be able to see everything from their email to their phone number and everything pertinent in an easy to navigate page. And also, if you're ever curious to look at your mailing analysis for all of your campaigns, you can find all that useful information under the reporting tab that we have up here by selecting it. And it'll give you that very beautiful, beautiful bar graphs that I always talk about. And I also like my pie charts, so I'm going to show you those. Now, that was pretty simple, and it allowed me to see a lot of things in, what, like five minutes. Now, as you can see, Odo makes the creating, sending, and analyzing an email marketing campaigns easier and better than ever before. So stay tuned, O-Doers. I'll see you there, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Go eat something.